I'm Sister Martha Delgado. My father would say once in a while, every once in a while that uh, uh, sisters were very nice people. Excuse me. Also, our pastor, Ms. Father Ca uh, Philip Cassidy, uh, encouraged vocations. So one time, I, my father was talking to Father Philip Cassidy, and uh, he must have mentioned something about me or something. And uh, the next time I knew was uh, uh, he called me. I went to confession. I was a big sinner. <laughs> and, and he uh, said, I want to see you after when, I, when I'm through with confessions. And he asked me, I hear that you would like to go to the convent. Uh, would you like to go to the Franciscans in Santa Fe? I knew very little about St. Francis or the Franciscan. I said, it sounded nice, it sounded good to me. So I said, yes. I was 15, and I entered in Santa Fe. We had an officiate house there, our sisters did. I was very young when I entered, and as a result, I had to make choices many times over, and grace prevailed. We were very strict in those days, and we didn't go home for a long time. <laughs> Leaving my parents was very hard. My siblings, and the fear of the unknown, the call to giving up my own family, etc. And then I was entering a Swiss community. They, were, they came from Switzerland, most of them were Swiss. And I did have a desire of, of prayer, or to be, have a deeper uh, relationship with the Lord. So God's grace and prayer helped me through it all. And uh, trying to live one day at a time, spiritual reading, the example of many sisters, priests, and married couples that persevered in their vocations. I love St. Francis. I love the story of St. Francis. I loved what he did and what he stood for. He was here to help others, to evangelize, and to be a presence of God to others. And uh, my Franciscan life has had a lot of meaning, ups and downs, but a lot of meaning too. No life is perfect. We all rely on God, and we have to study the signs of the times. What is it that our times need? Where do we have to change, and where do we have to adapt? And, and, and yet, be, uh, 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 be aware that we are called to community life. In life, one has to make choices, and I have something that I read very often, and I felt that it applied to me by Robert Frost. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Somewhere, ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled, and that has made all the difference. So perhaps I, I did too.